Good morning and welcome to the Yara UK YouTube channel. Um, just for a bit of agronomy chat this morning here on this all seed rape crop. Something that we've had in recent days is lots of inquiries around um, how to manage the all seed crop um, this year in 2017 because quite clearly we've um, got to the position where the crop is now um, getting tall, full flower. Um, so suddenly we're at the end of March and it's a job to get through it with our last uh, nitrogen applications in some cases. So fertiliser, nitrogen fertiliser has ended up going on earlier this year than um, perhaps in previous seasons. So what, what does that mean? What's the implications for that has been the questions that we've had and how should we perhaps think about dynamically managing this crop uh, as we go forward. Anyway, just some really thoughts on that then. I think we've got two things that we really understand with the oil seed crop well now is that we have to build the canopy um, and we're always looking towards that green air index three to four to get um, our optimum yields, optimum canopy. Um, and then secondly, we want that canopy to last. So we often term that green area duration. So, and I guess that's the bit we're in, really now thinking about is that green area duration in the sense we have built the canopy, we've built it with our nitrogen. That's gone on a little bit earlier this year, maybe a couple of weeks in some cases, um, and at slightly lower rates because of um, the fact that we had a really nice big canopy coming in um, to the spring. So what we've ended up with, uh, as I say, is a long period now that's gonna take, require us to go from here um, at the end of March right through obviously through flowering and to seed fill and I think the, the bit for us to really think about and just have, make some um, good decisions on going into um, the next few weeks and, and right through to harvest is about this duration part of the canopy so um, really it's going to be about monitoring the crop closely so being dynamic with your thoughts monitor that crop closely and any sign of that crop going off by way of a um, bit of discoloration. So these, the young leaves right at the, the top um, of the canopy, so young leaves right at the top is gonna be um, the, the ones that are gonna drive yield into seed fill. So we want those to keep going for as long as we can. They're three times more effective than um, the pod itself when it comes to photosynthesis and of course we want that pod canopy to stay green as well as that develops. Um, the research really sits largely with high application or not high applications but applications of um, nitrogen at flowering so and most of the day for Gallard has been using the Yara Schaefer Newfold product so there we're looking at a, a solution which we go on at 200 to 250 litres per hectare and we can time that with one of our fungicides. What we're seeing there is results anywhere from 0.1 to up to 0.78 tonnes a hectare with an average at the moment running at about 0.3. So a good return on investment with regard to the cost benefit associated with that and some really good data that demonstrates it's something that should be part of routine oil seed management just to drive a little bit of extra yield late on there. So really think quarter of a tonne a hectare plus by way of um, the response to that and in today's um, pricing with the oilseed crop, then that's a really worthwhile thing to consider. Um, there are other um, routes we could try and take. There's not the data behind them as yet by way of the response, but what they are gonna do is do a similar, similar exercise by way of keeping that canopy going for longer. And that would be um, using a formulated more micronutrient and macronutrient mix and again there's products out there that can be used for that. Um, within the Yara range we've got the Yara Vita products, Crop Lift and uh, Safe N where we can be using those as a means of a formulated nutrient mix going on just to get a bit of extra life out the canopy um, through so your Crop Lift we're talking five kilos a hectare there of that product. Um, safe end, we're up at 10 litres a hectare. So two different products there um, to consider again as part of this uh, managing the crop as we go forward. All the detail can be found on the website with regard to those products and obviously you can make contact with us if you want any clarification on those points. Um, anyway, 
hope your crop continues to look well and uh, we'll pick up, pick up on some more agronomy chat another time. Bye.